first step of this video is to prepare your butt. Hello! I'm Phil. This is Phil Good Cooking. Today on the show, we're gonna make Cincinnati chili. It looks like this. I grew up in the Cincinnati area, therefore I have had a lot of Cincinnati chili. Some people consider it an acquired taste. I don't think that it is, because all it is is an incredible conglomeration of spiced fats on a pile of carbs with cheese on top, also other things. Some people say it's disgusting, those people just don't understand. There's actually, I have a step-by-step -step indoctrination process for people who don't like it. The first step before the first step is to go to Skyline Chili, not Gold Star. Gold Star is fine, and some people say it tastes better, but they're wrong. The first step is to go once with a person who likes it. You may have a good time, you may not. The second step is to go again with a person who likes it. This time you'll be like, yeah, it's okay. Now that we're on step three, you wait like two to three weeks and then your arteries all like bind into a knot. They like conspire against you. Like there's this meeting of your arteries. It's probably your heart. They're probably on your heart and there they're like, we gotta, we gotta eat that chili. We gotta do it right now. Courtney can, can testify to this. It happened to her. It could happen to you. Also, Courtney and I are married now. And so you'd think that once I got married, I would be a more respectable person. But I figured, what the heck? It's been a while since you just see me in pajamas and drinking on a weeknight. So show us the ring. <laughs> I've already scratched the shit out of it. But it came with a lifetime guarantee of free buffing and resizing. And I got it at Kroger. It wasn't actually, I mean, it was like the jewelry store within the Kroger. And my favorite, my favorite, Fred Meyer or whatever the f it is. My favorite, my favorite part of that whole experience is the, the nice lady was like, How did you hear about us? I was like, you're in the f***ing Kroger. What the f***? I'm always here. So anyways, let's have a, a beverage. All right, the drink before the drink. Happy Tuesday. Because we... Bought the alcohol for our wedding, which was an awesome choice. We have a lot of leftover alcohol now, and even I, as an enthusiastic alcohol enthusiast, am kind of overwhelmed at the amount of alcohol in our house, so we're trying to reduce inventory. Here's some Goldschlager. I've never had it. Also, I didn't pick this out. I just want viewers at home to know that. But it does have this fancy gold in it, and you know, that's, that's how you know I'm a classy lady. This stuff just looks like poison. Smells like uh, big red gum. To a lifetime of happiness. Happiness. Palatable. Anyways, I didn't want to actually drink that. I wanted to. <laughs> I wanted it to different look good. This is uh, Makers and Diet Big K. You can see where my priorities are. All right. Cincinnati chili, no one calls it that. It's just Skyline. You gotta boil some beef. You may be asking, why do you boil it? And the reason you boil it is to cook it. It's pretty self-evident. You will need four cups of water. And some beef shit paste. You could alternatively use beef stock. Uh, let's put one of these in. Maybe another one of these. Hey, hey, put the camera in my face. That seems like a fine amount. All right, apply heat to the pot. You can use a high heat to get the water rolling into a bowl. And uh, we'll use some kind of tool or device. This part. So I'm just gonna smash it in here just to, just to fit it under the water. But once it starts cooking, we'll, uh, we'll mash it up a little more. We also need to add some onions. You might need a couple of onions. Uh, preferably white, um, but I only have the one today because of lack of foresight. Red onions are weird. Some are like, I, know, I think we've talked about this before. It just seems like farmers struggle to make red onions not bad. Are you a red onion farmer? Can you provide insights as to why you suck? Let us know in the comments below. All right, do so you want to find the fine mints? Fine mints indeed. Look how good I am. So like in an ideal world, these onions will just like Cook to oblivion anyways. Oh my god, it's tear it up here. Just thinking about all the times I had at the wedding. Um, I'm doing a terrible job. <laughs> it's just a really terrible job. So here's me crying about that. But you know, when you drink on a weekday, your, your mileage may vary. M, M, no, Y, M, M, V. Anyways, here's a giant pile of onions. You just drop them in. 
And remember, these will cook down. If you don't believe in onions, you just haven't learned enough yet. Looks awful already. Rip arteries. So yeah, you want that to simmer for a while and uh, all right. <laughs> we will be back uh, when it's Sometimes it's like time, there's just a little bit of time and then you maybe you come back, maybe don't. All right, so we're calling an audible, which is a football term for doing something different when you were going to do something different from that difference in the moment, but you're now in that different moment and need to do something different. So we got our beef boil in here. Looks weird, looks terrible, looks like you cook a pot of shit. I mean, I mean, in some ways you are. Match is not really working yet, it's not tender enough. But we can make it more tender by adding tenderizers. So we'll start with some apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons. I'm gonna use these frog spoons that Court doesn't want me to use. Now that we're married, I can do what I want. <laughs> Love you, Court. <laughs> uh, next is some, um, what's this year sauce? I've got Liam Perrin's two teaspoons. Okay, okay, okay. Now that we're in the middle of something, I just want to take this inopportune time to thank uh, Reddit user slash you slash dubdad. Because he posted this, something like this on Drunk and Cookery recently and I was like, oh. But I, actually, what happened was like the typical Cincinnati chili cycle where you like, you think about it and then you can't stop thinking about it. And you're like, well, maybe I'll, maybe I'll go to Skyline, get a little, get a little Coney, get a little three-way, four-way, five-way. And a couple of days pass by and you're like, maybe you follow them on social media and you see some posts that are like, here's a dumb gif, people eating Coney's. A couple of days pass by and you're like, oh man, I really want it. And then you, instead of like going there, you're like, well, maybe I'll just make it. And that's how we got here, dub dad. All right, you need some chili powder. Uh, a lot of this. That's how you make chili. You use chili powder. Don't know if anyone knew that. You need several tablespoons. Iggy, Iggy, shut it up. Shut it up, you. Shut it up, me. Two and a half. I need to add some tomato sauce. I got tomato puree here from the Italian section at Kroger. It looks fancy. That's basically a tomato sauce. Smells just like tomatoes. Uh, this is 24 ounces. We need 16, so we need two thirds of this jar. Can we eyeball it? Blah, 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 blah. No, we can't eyeball it. <laughs> we need some chocolate. Girardelli. Iggy, Iggy, Iggy. Hey, what are you barking at? Also, you can't have chocolate, you'll die. Especially 100% cacao. That's like 100% poison. So you need this much, it's a half ounce. Bloop. All right, uh, garlic, two teaspoons. I got the, the hilarious squeeze garlic because I just like it as a concept. It's great for barbecues. <laughs> so I'm just like imagining someone eating like an overcooked hamburger and being like, oh, I just want to put some garlic on it. <laughs> so two teaspoons, this is basically a tablespoon. And we like garlic, so we'll just... Yeah! Wow, that comes in a log. That's weird. That's really strange. All right, cinnamon. Cinnamon will give it the signature cinnamon-like flavor, as you might imagine. You need about a teaspoon. Cinnamon, these nuts. Cinnamon is one of the things you'll be like really able to, whoa, shit. You'll really be able to pick out in the end product as a flavor you recognize. Uh, a little bit of cumin, also a teaspoon. You could also, instead of just dumping these straight in the pot, you could uh, put this like in a bowl and make a spice blend, but that just dirties a bowl, so. Oh wait, no, that's a tablespoon. Whoopsie. Bleh. All right, that seems like a fine amount. Need some salt, just, just throw some in. Uh, and some cayenne. I would just go with a couple dashes. You don't need to do like some insane amount. Uh, all right, allspice and cloves. This is something that's really gonna uh, change the flavor profile, but like, don't go crazy. Oh shit, those are whole cloves. I want ground cloves. These are ground, ground cloves. You can freshly grind them, whatever. Just put a little bit in. I would say like one, one dash. It's plenty. That was all spice. And we got a couple bay leaves. Two. And mix all of that shit together. Kind of smells like Skyline, I guess. A little bit. That beef really needs to cook down quite a bit, so it's gonna be a little bit before that happens. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go a little bit crazy here and suggest putting a little pepper in. And you can see, because of our fine cameraman's teasing and goading and making fun of me, I refilled the pepper grinder with peppercorns that I bought. Sorry, Sugar and Jake, for not using this fine gift for like a year or whatever it was, but now it's, I'm using it again. You're back in the spotlight. Yeah. I literally was at the store last night 
Be it like I was in the spice aisle and I was like, I'll show who, I'll show him who can buy pepper coins. All right, thus far, like the color looks pretty good. My main concern is like how solid the beef looks. They're like in noodles, beef noodles. Those are nice in other things, but it's not really what we want in this. Um, but I think after cooking down a long time, a couple of hours, I think it'll be better. We'll mash it up as we go. So we're gonna cook it uncovered for now. Actually, I don't wanna do that. I think I just wanna cook it covered. I don't wanna lose any liquid. Oh, it smells righteous. <laughs> All right, multiple hours. And you can clean up after yourself. And uh, hopefully it turns out good. So we'll be back in a little while. It's 5.30 right now. And uh, I'm really excited to put this in my gullet. So I recommend you use this time uh, to contemplate, you know, how you're doing so far in life. <laughs> At least you don't have my dogs. Jay's been cooking about an hour, and I'm concerned that the beef is too too whole. You can see that's what it looks like. That's not how this normally works. So we're gonna do a little experiment. I'm gonna just put a couple ladles here in a blender and see if that produces a desirable result. In the Skyline Chili, the beef is like so small you can barely notice it. I just wanna see what happens. And if we make a beef smoothie, well, I'll just put it back in the chili and no one will know. We got our power arm, we're gonna use the pulse. I just barely did it. Oh, I think that actually did the right thing. All right, check out the texture on this. I'm gonna pour it in a little bowl. No, I think this is really what we needed to do. So check that out. That looks way more like Skyline. See? So I think we're gonna do that with all of it. That'll be fun. All right, I'm excited that that worked as well as it did and that things are coming along swimmingly. So I'm gonna pull out the bay leaves because bay leaves are not something you really wanna eat. And you're going to carefully but bravely pour the whole thing into the blender. Might have to do it in batches. Oh, Remember to pour away from yourself. So we're gonna just use the pulse function. It's just gonna chop it up a little bit. Okay, that looks good. We're gonna vent it, move it back into the pot. Gosh, that's, that was, that was a clutch choice. Look at that, that is, that's, that Cincinnati chili it looks awful. No, that's Courtney. She looks great. What are you doing? <laughs> what are you doing, Courtney? <laughs> What is going on over there? Well, it looks like true garbage. Just what we wanted. I'm so happy. That really was the secret step. Poor Blender. It's never seen anything like that. You guys okay? Vinny does this like every time someone leaves the home. <laughs> He's abused. That's incredible. That like just went from weird home chili to Cincinnati chili like instantly. So we'll let that keep cooking. All right. Nom, 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 nom. Let's make a pasta. Cincinnati chili goes on spaghetti. People are like, oh, that's weird. Well, you should try it. If you don't like it, try it two more times and you'll like it. That's how it works. I gotta make a lot of a lot of noodles this round because we got company coming. So we're gonna make two pounds of thin spaghetti. Kevin's running late. Now that's a surprise. Salt your water. We'll get that going on the back burner. And in addition to that, we need to boil some hot dogs. Because we're making conies as well. Now conies are like short hot dogs. We're just gonna use regular hot dogs because what does it really matter, you know? I don't know what it matters. Get that heating up a little bit. Uh, you know, and then like, True Ohio. No problem. In true, uh, true Cincinnati tradition, I just try to find the cheapest hot dogs I could, so. Make sure that you get all the hot dog water or juice into the water as well. It's extra flavor. That's a, uh, a pro tip. There you go. Crucial. While we're waiting for uh, all that shit, we also need to prepare some other things. One of the uh, traditional toppings Cincinnati chili is onions. It's raw diced onions. They're white. So a three-way is spaghetti and chili and cheese. The four-way, actually you have to specify how you want it because there's two optional ingredients. One of them is onions and the other is beets. But if you're like me and you just like it all, you get a five-way, you get them both. You don't have to specify then. So I'm finally dicing my onions here, doing the best I can with the hands God gave me. All right, we gotta get our beans 
Got kidney beans. I think that uh, Skyline probably uses some kind of smaller kidney bean. I think they call them kidney beans, but maybe they're actually red beans. I don't know. But these are like much larger than what you would get at a restaurant. We'll give them a, a wash and the crick. Beanie weenies. A crucial ingredient you will need is a, just a truly preposterous amount of cheese. Yeah, so that half pound of cheese right there, that's enough for like one. Not really, but maybe. You'll also need some regular yellow mustard for conies. Let's leave that there. Oh yeah, got my hot dogs boiling here. Simmering and the juice. Ooh, that's ready. Got our spaghetti. Got two pounds. Thin spaghetti. Doesn't really matter what long noodle you use, but thin spaghetti is the, the typical one. So we'll cook our pasta, we cook our our weenies, and yeah, that's how you do it. It's pretty easy, easier than I expected. The chili actually tastes good. Yeah, we'll be back. All right, let's 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 have us a little coney. They're floaty and they look warm, so that's really all you need. I'm gonna let that excess hot dog water come off. Okay, next stop. The typical way is you'll, you'll add some onions, you know, plenty of them, and then you add the mustard, and you, you want the onions on the, the bottom because the chili will kind of like soften them up a little bit. All right, ready for that chili action? So like, be careful the rate at which you pour it because you don't want too much chili on here. That's probably perfect. And then, in the true Cincinnati way, you add so much cheese that you can't even believe it. Perfect, a little more. And that's how you make a chili cheese coney from Cincinnati. Let's try her out. Cheese falling everywhere. That's the taste I know and love. Hell yeah. God. Good news, the pasta's done too. Got right, time to 420 strain it. Well, there was apparently no water left in there. All right, I'm gonna show you how to make a five way. That's how I like it. You start with your spaghetti and you coil it on your plate. There's that. Next, we're gonna add cold beans. You could warm them up if you give a shit about that. But I feel like the chili will warm them. Some beans. I like lots of onions. Is that too much? I don't know. All right, and then the chili. You want to put enough chili on it so that the juice can run completely through. So don't be afraid to pile it on there. Okay, so you know, you know, now you know it's chili and spaghetti. And then you put on so much cheese that you forget about it. Perfect. Let's try it out. I'm going to try it this way first. And then I'm going to put a bunch of hot sauce on it because I like it that way. Hell yeah. So similar. Skyline's hot sauce is just a cayenne sauce, so... Hey, you're just in time. Even better. Oh, also for an authentic experience, you should have a bowl of oyster crackers on the side. Some oyster crackers. So that's how you do it. Here's some footage of our friends eating it. <laughs>